Okay, question one for both HL and SL. So we're given a graph, we're not told what the function is, and it says find f of two. So this, well, there's two parts to part A, and there's two marks. So it's literally just one mark each. So you're just gonna write down the answer. So f of two means when x is two, what is f of x or y? So you go to two for x, and then you go up. Where's the graph? Well, it's here, so it's six. So the answer is six. And that's it. And part i i f of f of two. Well, we know f of two is six. So let me just write this down. F of f of two is equal to f of six because you know f of two is six. So it's f of f of two, which is f of six. And that's the same thing. We go to six on the x-axis. Find where the graph is. Well, it's down here. So it has to be equal to negative two. Okay, part B it then says, g of x is a half f of x plus one, sketch the graph of g, right? I'm gonna sketch, I'm gonna sketch um, the graph of uh, half f of x first, and then I'll add the one just to show you how it's done. You can do that in an exam. In fact, yeah, you probably should sketch both of them, but just make sure you're very clear to the examiner which one is which. Um, you can always erase the, the first part if you want, but just be very, very clear what your, what your final answer is. So a half f of x, what this bit does here is we half the y-coordinates. So the y-coordinates all for this straight line are um, four, so we're gonna half four, which is two. That brings me over to, that gives me that straight line to here. Then I'm just gonna look at the different points that I know. So this one here is two, six. So if I half six, so the x coordinate stays the same, but I'm gonna half of six, which is three. So that'll be, I'll try and be as accurate as you can, something like that. Here is four, so I'm gonna half that to give me um, two. So it's four on the y-axis again, half it to give me two in the y-axis. And then this guy's negative two, so I'm gonna half negative two gives me negative one there. And then I just join these up. Forgive my poor drawing. Always struggle to draw graphs with this pen, but there you go. That So that is y equals a half f of x. So obviously I'm not done yet, guys, because now I have to add one. So I add one to this. And again, I'm just adding one to the y coordinate. Now, by the way, guys, yes, it does matter which you do first, because these are both vertical transformations, so it does make a big difference. So you have to do the half first, and then they add one after. So I'm gonna add one here. So all these twos become threes, which is basically there. This two, three becomes two, four to there. This four, two becomes four, three. And this guy is at negative one he becomes zero, because negative one plus one is zero. This should look exactly the same as the green graph, just shifted one up. Okay, that's as good as I can do. So that graph there, and again guys, if you do do two in the, in the exam, make sure you're clear that this is y equals a half f of x plus one. You might wanna just erase this green graph after, or you can leave it in again, provided you're clear what you're doing. So I'm actually gonna, let me just erase it. There. Okay, that is question one.